Today's lab is a safe, easy, and fairly straightforward one. What you see here is your high-tech calorimeter. Remember, all a calorimeter has to do is isolate what, is you, what it is you're interested in studying from the rest of the universe. So basically, it's a big styrofoam cup. And that's what we're using for our calorimeter. You have a thermometer sticking through your, whoops, you have a thermometer sticking through your calorimeter that you can read your temperature with, and you have a glass stir rod to assist in the stirring should you need it. First thing you're going to do is measure out some water at room temperature using your graduated cylinder. Whoops, knocked over my calorimeter. I hope everybody's seasick now. You're just going to pour your water in your calorimeter. And this water, for the purposes of our ex experiments, is our surroundings. You're going to take an initial temperature reading of that water after it's had time to acclimate to your calorimeter. While, that's, while you've been doing that, you've also been heating your unknown. Your unknown metal is going to heat in boiling water. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the temperature of the boiling water and you're going to assume that your metal is at the same temperature as your boiling water. A couple things to be careful of is make sure that your thermometer doesn't touch the bottom of your water containing vessel because you will get a slightly higher temperature. So you want to lower that thermometer in like halfway there to get your temperature reading. So what you're going to do is you now have really hot, hot metal. You have room temperature water. What's going to happen when you place hot metal in room temperature water. The hot metal is going to give off its heat and it's going to cool down and the water it's dump being dumped into is going to gain heat and heat up. So you have an initial temperature for your metal, an initial temperature for your room temperature water. You take your metal, action shot, action shot, and you dump it in your water. One of the big things that will cause an error in this lab is if you're too slow. You want to make that transfer from the hot to your calorimeter as fast as possible and get your lid on and thermometer in as fast as possible. You want to watch your thermometer and record the maximum temperature you see. One thing that will make this lab a lot easier is if instead of using a manual thermometer, you actually come over here and use Logger Pro. And we'll have Logger Pro set up so that you can take the thermometers, the, whoops, I don't have any of the thermal couples out, so that you can take the temperature using a thermal couple instead of a glass thermometer right here. You can just stick your thermal couple through the slot there and use it to take your temperature reading. And that'll make things a little bit easier for you. But that's basically it for today's lab. Really simple, really straightforward. There is a little bit of an art, art to it, interestingly enough. Um, interestingly enough, people usually get better results the second or third times they do this than the first time. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice. But that's it.